YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas with Mr. Fix All Home Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Uh, what I wanted to do with this particular uh, video is a, it's kind of an important topic for handymen. Uh, basically, no matter where you live, what city, town, or you know, if you live in a big city, a small town, a local community, uh, it doesn't matter where you live, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what trade you're in. You can be a carpenter, a plumber, an HVAC guy. You can be a handyman like my business is. You can be a landscaper. You can be a various uh, number of different trades, okay? But the, first, the specific topic that I want to cover today is follow-up and professionalism, okay? Uh, what happened this week shocked me a lot uh, because what, I, what ended up happening is this. Let me give you some background information. If you uh, run a business already, you've been at it a long time, you know basic business, this is not going to come uh, to a surprise to you, uh, it will be a surprise to you or a shock to you. Okay, but for you new guys, that have never been in this business before or you're in it, you've only been in it for one year, uh, this information, or a little longer, this information is very valuable. Or you're an old timer and you know, it's your business has become somewhat of a routine to you. So I, I want you to all listen up uh, to this information because uh, it could make or break your company. And, and you know my channel uh, is all about information. I try to provide you guys uh, valuable information on how to run a successful business. Whether you take the information or not, or use it or not, is totally up to you, okay? But here's, here, let me give you some groundwork. Let me lay some groundwork down for you. Okay, uh, there's a forum. Uh, that a lot of neighborhoods have. It's called front porch or back porch. It's almost like an Angie's list in a weird way, except the homeowners themselves talk uh, amongst themselves, and they have a, uh, a, a page that they set up, a forum that they set up that says, okay, hey, what was your experience with this contractor, this plumber, this landscaper, this handyman, uh, this, con you know, just... Basically, any experience they may have, a painter, a roofer, uh, just anybody that they run into, it's, it's an open chat line. Uh, so, what it is, they talk, the, and it's always the housewives. Think about that. Keep that in the back of your mind. It's always the housewives that chat amongst themselves. Okay? And they'll say, oh yeah, this, we had a wonderful experience with this guy or this company. Uh, and or, oh, we had a horrible experience with this guy or this company or girl. Uh, but here, here, here's, what, here's what ended up happening is that my name gets dropped around on these uh, front porch, back porch forums. And I live in, uh, of course, Wakefield. Behind me is Wake Forest. Over there is Wakefield. That way is Bedford. Now, Bedford is a huge community. It's like about 4,000 homes. And what ended up happening is, as I've worked throughout the years, you know, Bedford, Wake Forest, Wake, uh, Wakefield, different places, and uh, I don't ask people for a referral. You know, all I say is, if you like my work, just basically just spread my name around. You know, I don't, I don't get too technical or try to, you know, do too much overselling. I just do a great job as best as I can do it and, and make sure that uh, the customer is satisfied with the work. That's the bottom line. That's what I'm into. Quality work. You know, I don't charge, you know, like I tell, tell you guys uh, in a lot of my videos, I, I'm not cheap. I actually charge quite a bit for what I do. So... When these people, uh, you know, when you hit them at a, a high price and, and, and they expect a lot out of you, they'll become very demanding uh, because, you know, you set your price so high uh, that they're going to say, okay, well, we want this level of service. And, and they, ex they, they should get that, okay? Well, what's been going on is that uh, the Bedford community, which I don't work a lot in Bedford. I have several accounts over there. Um, a couple of doctors I work for over in Bedford. 
And my name got dropped in on this back porch, front porch forum as, as, a, as, a, as a handyman. Well, I never go in there and look because I don't have access to their web page or their gossip forum or their, you know, their chat forum. So I'm, I'm just basically relying on whatever the homeowner says as to be, you know, what, uh, you know, their response uh, to my services. So, come to find out, I've got a five-star rating with uh, five different customers that have all used me over the years. Well, this one housewife uh, who, uh, of course, she's got a job too. Of course, she's married several kids, and they've got a nice home over in Bedford. She uh, had, was having a bad, a really bad experience with this local handyman who was going around the Bedford community and basically handing out his card, making all these promises, and saying, oh, yeah, I'll do this for you, I'll do that for you, and, you know, I'll be here in a week, blah, blah, blah. And then he never shows up. He never calls, and he, he basically just drops the ball all over the, all over the place. Now, I tried to find out who this guy was or what the company was, and I couldn't find out. Uh, in other words, they didn't want to tell me, and I respect that. That's, that, that's cool. I didn't, I didn't want to dig in too deep. I said, oh, whatever, you know, the guy's not acting like a professional. So what ended up happening... As I told the lady about me, I told her about my YouTube channel, uh, I took, gave her my reputation uh, as far as uh, uh, the Better Business Bureau. I got a four-star rating with the Better Business Bureau and also with Angie's List. And I'm not, I don't advertise with these sources, it's just that I've gotten reviews from a lot of customers and they, they drop my name to these companies because they're members. And they can still talk about you even though you don't have to be a member of these uh, particular, uh, you know, these, these accreditation uh, companies. So, what I did was I went ahead and booked a job. Uh, it was it was a wood rot job, and, and it was quite a bit actually. Uh, it, it was uh, uh, it took me oh six and a half hours to do uh, do this work, and I set the appointment for two weeks in advance. Now this is how I played it. Uh, I told her I said I am busy. I'm booked anywhere from two to three weeks out, but on this date I will shoot you an email 48 hours to 24 hours in advance, let you know I'm, I am coming and I am going to show up on that day, that day and that time. Well, I knew the date was approaching. I had the email because I made sure that they sent me an email and, and to coordinate saying that this is how I work through emails only because it is a paper trail. And, and that way I had them on file. I wouldn't forget them because I go through them, all my emails every single day. And uh, I showed up right on time. The housewife was actually shocked because she said the last guy never showed up or he would hardly ever show up. And when he ever did show up, it never was on the right time or date that he said he was going to come. And then his work was, you know, a little, little iffy. So uh, I went ahead and knocked out the work. I made sure they knew I was there. I set the appointment, got there, uh, made contact with the homeowner. She was there, got there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Spent all day there, and I also waited for the customer to come back that evening. Well, while I was in the neighborhood, I handed out three of my business cards and set two more appointments. And the same story was the same exact story. Uh, all the experiences they had was with the same one or two handymen that were floating through this neighborhood making promises, and nobody showing up, no follow-up. Okay? So... What I did that day, I got done exactly at 3 o'clock, got there at 8, finished at 3, and I went straight over to this other lady's house. It was right around the corner, knocked out a small rot job, quick 70 in cash. As soon as I was sitting in the yard, a guy came up behind me and says, oh, by the way, let me get your business card. I need a handyman. And I said, oh, great, you know, have you had problems with your previous handyman? Yeah, he never showed up, he never set an appointment, and he never called. And I said, wow, it seems like this... I've heard this story before, you know. In fact, I'm hearing this story all day long. And so what ended up happening was is that I went over to his house uh, and I fixed the door problem. He had some lock problems and, and made $25 cash on him. So I waited for the original homeowner to come over on the rod job. He showed up. I did a complete walkthrough, made sure that all the points that him, you know, him and I talked about that I was going to repair uh, was per done professionally and everything was perfect. And uh, he looked at me and he says, you know what, uh, you're a breath of fresh air. He goes, I, I, I'm surprised uh, and I'm shocked and I'm pleased 
uh, how you performed and how you treated, treat your business and how professional you are. And especially with the follow-up, uh, uh, the reminders with the emails, and also, too, that you, you, you actually showed up and you did the work. You know, exactly when you said you were going to, even though it was two weeks in advance. But you showed up. Excuse me, long day. You guys know me by now, I love Ice House. But anyway, back to the story. Uh, then, he goes, Tom, I love the way you handled this whole situation. You're our new handyman. Now, this guy's got money. He's part of some sort of marketing company. He's uh, apparently uh, pretty high up. And he said, I got some more stuff for you to look at. We looked at all his decks. He wants me to restain all his decks. And it's a three-level home, and he's three decks, three de separate decks. And he told me flat out, he says, uh, I know you're booked two and three weeks in advance. I'll shoot you another email, but I want to go ahead and get on your schedule uh, to go ahead and stain, uh, stain my decks. And I said, great. As soon as I got home, there was the email with a big thank you. Uh, uh, you know, you handle yourself as a professional. We appreciate that. My wife appreciate that. Uh, you know, you know, the entire time that you were here, you acted as a pro. You know, and, and th this is a breath of fresh air for us. And we're going to spread your name around. And there you go. And it's on the front porch, back porch forum that they do this, this chat room that they have amongst the entire neighborhood. So you can imagine uh, once that your name gets dropped in those forums, how much business you'll actually get from it because you will get a lot of business. Okay. Now, because of that, uh, I was doing my normal routine and routes this week. I've already booked three more mulch jobs, which I'm going on a big mulch job tomorrow, which is a good profit uh, margin in that. I finished up a, uh, uh, an edger job today, uh, a metal edger job today out of nowhere. It just came out of nowhere. He says, Tom, you got, you got a couple hours to knock this stuff out. It was a quick $100. It took me 45 minutes. Quick $100. And then tomorrow the mulch job will be a cool $400 easy there. And then... Uh, I've got a, another concrete installation job, it's a skin coating job that starts on Friday. I've already got a deposit. The guy doesn't even live in North Carolina. Uh, he lives in South Carolina and I've been wheeling and dealing with this guy for several years and he just says, Tom, I've got this project, I'll sell, send you a deposit. Boom, the deposit comes as soon as I get the work done, he sends me the balance. It's been like that. He's like, I get the check within three days. He's just that professional with the way he handles his side of the business. Then. Also, too, uh, this weekend I got to power wash the hospital Sunday, and then I got a fence job. I got to repair a gate. So, from Monday, just from Monday now, I've been wide open for the last 30 days. Last month and a month before that, each $10,000 each. Uh, March, April, both $10,000 made. Okay, uh, and that's not $9,000. It's $10,000 each. This month I'm on track for about 8,500. Uh, the, the month is not over yet. Uh, I've got still three days to go. So I can also book and bill all my landscaping customers, which is another $2,800. So here's the here's the critical and the crucial part of this message, guys. If you want to start a business, no matter what level you are at, a sole proprietorship S corporation like me, where you're just a one man show out there, where you're several guys. But if you're the owner of the company, let me, let me give you some good advice. You need to get in the habit of following up, never ever making promises that you can't stand up to, okay? Don't over-promise and under-deliver. And I took away from this one guy so much business that, it, you know, if he would know, he, if he would actually know what I made on all these customers that he could have made himself, because those were his clients, uh, uh, he would roll over in his damn uh, grave, okay? So, the moral of the story is, guys, is follow up, do what you say you're going to do, show up when you say you're going to show up, do professional quality work, like I always preach, do quality work. Whether you do use my techniques or not, I don't care. Use your own, but whatever your results are, if they come out good and that people like them, and you can stand by it, and I always give a six-month warranty, then you're in business. But the bottom line is, is that make sure you get these people to send you an email. 
Don't just scribble their name down on a piece of scratched paper. Have a professional business card. Give them a business card. Get their business card from them. Make sure that they email you. It's a paper trail. It's legal. It's binding. It's one of those things. Yes, we're allowing Mr. Fixall to come on our property on so-and-so date and so-and-so time. So, when you've got all this stuff in place, all this, you know, things in motion, and you actually show up, do the work, I promise you, I swear to God, I promise you, these people will remember that. And they'll also tell their friends, they'll tell their neighbors, and, 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 and they're going to just flat out, they see you in the neighborhood with your uh, van, you know, your truck, whatever. Make sure you've you got some professional advertising, you look professional. You know, just all the normal things that you've got to do to run a business, okay? Because if you walked into a place and the place was a dump, you wouldn't go in there and shop, would you? Of course you wouldn't. I wouldn't, and I know you wouldn't either. So remember, your consumer is 90% females because they control and run the household. Okay? So if you don't get along well with females or you're too cocky or you're a little arrogant, you didn't shave, you got bad breath, you know, you're not dressed correctly, you know, you've got to have your act together. You've got to look like a pro. And then, you know, you, you go there and you're representing yourself and you're representing your company and you've got to sell yourself and you've got to sell your company. Okay? So just this week alone, in the last three days, $1,500 made in three days, all cash. And I haven't stopped yet because it's Wednesday. I got all the way till Sunday. I'm sure I'll probably knock down, oh God, I, I, I know probably about another seventeen dollars to $2,000. Then I book and bill everybody for $2,800 in landscaping. So I'll probably hit the $10,000 mark again this, year, this month. So that's my advice to you guys. Be a pro, show up on time, do quality work, and follow up. Keep that in the back of your mind. You've got to follow up. Hopefully this is, advice has been helpful to you guys in running your own small handyman business. And in the future, uh, you know, I wish you all the success in the world. Uh, and, and that's all i got to say to you guys. I want you guys to have a blessed day. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave those comments. Always leave those comments. This is Thomas from Mr. Fix All Home and Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina, signing out. I'll see you guys on another video. Bye.